we do have good news. I am three months pregnant now, so I'm so excited. How much sugar would you in 2008, three women living in Seattle were starting their families with the intention of maintaining their professional careers. I feel um, excited and apprehensive. <laughs> they agreed to document this period in their lives in order to contribute towards a better understanding of the having it all challenge facing many women today. I think we're pretty ready. We've always known that we want to have children, and it's something that we've been thinking about and talking about. Right now, I, I'm happy going to work, and as long as I'm happy, I'll keep on doing it. I feel very lucky, actually, because I met and married someone who is like me, who has the same approach to being flexible. Fitting kids into the picture of having it all, I think it's definitely the case that people don't really explicitly address how that's meant to happen in the context of pursuing a career. There was this little boy crying. He was just laying on the floor crying. And they didn't pick him up. And I just thought, oh my god, what if mine had to lay like that and cry? You're expected to have a career. You're expected to have marriage. You're expected to own a house and have a kid or two. We deal with it and we move on. I think the kind of predominant model right now is that you can have it all and you can have it all at the same time. I really felt like I had no real choice. And I think the problem with that is that the same time piece really doesn't work because there just aren't enough hours in the day. I'm starting to feel like I'm falling behind. I just feel that I've lost myself. Once I understood everything, there was only one choice to be made and that was choose what was best for me.